Well, on your screen right now are the photos of the damage left behind from a fire inside of one family's garage in Spokane Valley. This house fire, house caught on fire rather this morning, and then again late this afternoon. As of right now, investigators do not know exactly what sparked the fires, but they say that they found multiple lithium ion batteries in the garage where the fire started. So the Valley Department once again reminding everyone, while these types of batteries are useful, we use them with our cell phones and laptops, they can also be dangerous. Madeline Mullins shares tips on how you can lower your chances of those batteries in your home going up in flames. Lithium ion batteries can be found in lots of common household products, like a leaf blower. We do see them a lot in your standard um, power products, your drills and your saws and such. And it is that commonality which has led to lithium ion fires being on the rise. Lithium ion battery fires, they are more prevalent now, and so we are seeing more fires that involve lithium ion batteries. Fire Captain Abraham Nisbet says the danger with these types of fires is that they burn very hot, they can be hard to put out, and they have a chance of reigniting. The fire department has shared some easy tips to help prevent these fires from starting. Store your batteries in a cold and dry place. Once your battery is fully charged, remove it from the charger. Check the expiration date on batteries, check for damage to the batteries and the packaging they come in, and dispose of lithium ion batteries at a household hazardous waste site. Batteries should always be used within the manufacturer's recommendations. The Spokane Valley Fire Department also recommends that people visit the Battery Smart Spokane website. Here they can find information about all things batteries, what to buy, how to charge them, and how to get rid of them. With 4 News Now, I'm Madeline Mullins.